Okay, Cannon Crew, so today we're going to be making some oven baked baby back barbecue ribs. It's a mouthful. Say it five times fast if you can. But yeah, y'all, so this is one of my most requested recipes on the channel that I've never done. Back when we used to um, have ribs pretty often, and we used to always get asked how I made them. So I'm just going to show y'all exactly how to do that today. All right, so y'all, I'm starting out with a, a medium and a large rack of uh, baby back ribs that I... Um, have uh, rinsed off pretty good and then I'm putting them on a pan and I just patted them dry and then I flipped them over to the side with the bones exposed and I am removing that membrane it's on the back this just offers for uh, more tenderizing of your ribs you can leave it on if you like but most people do remove it so um yeah I'm just going ahead once I get under it and remove the uh, large piece, I just get all the little extra pieces. It's easier if you just take a butter knife or a butt of a spoon or something and get between the bones and it'll you can lift it up pretty easy. All right, so here I'm just adding some honey mustard here and taking my um, clean uh, bare hands and massaging it all over the ribs. This is just gonna help me to uh, coat my rub. Um, some people use uh, regular mustard a lot of times when grilling um, or you can just use straight olive oil. Um, I've come to like honey mustard. I, I use a high uh, fat honey mustard and it just gives better flavor and offers a good crust. So then I take my Condor's barbecue uh, brown sugar rub that um, I've come to really like. I like a lot of Condor's products and I just coat the uh, the uh, back side of the ribs with that and I'm gonna do the same thing to the front. Massage the honey mustard in and then I'm gonna coat the ribs with the rub. Contrary to popular belief, just because it's called a rub does not mean you rub it in. You don't rub it in. I mean, you can, but you just don't wanna mix it up too good. Um, you wanna do it quite, quite like this. You know, any barbecue expert will tell you, just coat it, don't rub it in. That's how you get a good crust. All right, so now I'm just taking the foil that I have um, <clears throat> line the pan with and I'm going to wrap these ribs up um, the bottom of the ribs they have curved bone so it's going to keep it from laying flat against the pan and so the top part I don't want the foil to necessarily touch the top of the ribs either so that's why I'm kind of rolling it tight and standing it up leaving that gap because Otherwise, it will um, kind of peel my rub off if I do it the other way. So I'm doing it just like this, and I'm gonna put it in the oven on 300 degrees for two hours. Um, really, I should have lined it with foil like I did here. These are actually ones that I have cooking at this very moment because this was so good, I had to cook them twice. And then that'll keep your pan clean because that crust that it'll create on the pan kind of can uh, be hard to clean off. All right, so this is after two hours in the oven. I'm just gonna um, open the foil and I'm gonna let it go another hour and a half on 300 degrees. This is after that hour and a half is up. You see how that good crust is starting to form. The first two hours was locking the juices. The second um, time was to keep it uh, tenderizing as well as forming that crust. I'm gonna use this Condor's brand barbecue sauce that I never used before. Um, it was really good, y'all. Um, I'm just gonna coat the ribs. This is after the um, second round in the oven with them uncovered for uh, that additional hour and a half. Then I just take my grill brush and I just go in and y'all know, just distribute it evenly across the ribs, just like so. Then I'm gonna put it back in the oven um, for 15 minutes at 425 degrees. And that uh, just caramelizes that barbecue sauce. You see, it looks just like candy. All right, so after that, I put it in the oven for uh, three minutes on high, a broil, just two to three minutes, depending on your oven. Watch it, because you don't want it to burn. And then, eh, that's your finished product, y'all. We paired this up with some deviled eggs, some baked beans, and coleslaw, and yeah. Hope y'all like what you see, and you try it out. See you in the mukbang. It's so impulsive. Like, boom. <laughs> like, oh, Lord. Go. Then they be, they be worked up. They froze. They can't work. They be, once something goes wrong, it's over. They, they be meltdowns. I'm like, why they put these? <laughs> Nothing's worse than that little girl when that thing started falling and she gonna cry. <laughs> Cause look, she had made like this little, I think it was, it was sweet tarts or nerds. This little nerd like bridge, it was going over something and she had finished it. She had like two minutes and that bit started <laughs> falling and she just started crying. Five, four, three, two, one, hands up.
Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny and we are hashtag. 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 Hashtag the cannon. Alright crew members, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. Alright guys, we back today with another mook bomb for y'all and baby. It's so food, son and baby. Tell them what we got. Mm, y'all, we got some glistening barbecue ribs. They were slow cooked. Baby, baby. Oh, my baby. Uh-uh, my baby. Ribs. We got some baked beans, got some coleslaw, got some devil eggs that I can't wait to pop. And then for all of y'all, Honey, I be pumping them in. <laughs> and then for everybody that asked about dessert, y'all, mm -hmm. we got some banana pudding today. It's AJ's mama's recipe. Uh huh. It's right here. Yeah. Danielle made it. Yeah. So uh, I can't wait. that's that, y'all. If you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to our channel. Remember hashtag Grow Baby Grow, y'all. We growing. We growing. We almost at 50k. And when 50k get here, we promise y'all meet and get and a meet. Uh, uh, meet and greet and a giveaway and so those are on the way help is on the way so thank you thank you thank you share this video out man get us some new people join the family join the crew the cannon crew you know what i'm saying y'all remember 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 also to uh hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop some heat fun ass fun ass remember also guys last but not least like the video so important that you like the video if you like the video so just do that for me, smash that. Also, y'all, if you want to get your coldest water bottle, make sure you check the link in our description box below so you can grab that thing. You can grab that thing on up, y'all. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry right now. These ribs been cooking for about four hours. Four, five hours. Yeah. Um, so, I'm hungry. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food. Let it be nourished to our bodies and bless us with fortune. All these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, y'all, so let's just lower everything. Got a little ghetto foil up here so y'all can see it. You don't see this. <laughs> so, y'all, that's the ribs, in case you didn't know. Meat candy, but it's... Yeah. <laughs> Look, go ahead. Mm. Delicious. Eee. Not eat. All right, y'all, so let that relax. We gonna... Fix our plates. I'm gonna cut these up a little bit. And uh yeah. It's Sunday, y'all. So um <clears throat> yeah. Hope y'all having a good Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. Start of the week we in the what? Second what's the second week of October? Yep. Yeah, so coming up on the second. Mm -hmm. It don't even matter, dude. What? <laughs> what fork I use. No man, it's yours. Is she on? I'm hungry. I thought I wasn't gonna be that hungry since I'm. You know how like you eat a little bit when you cooking and stuff like that, and you don't be hungry. And you be like, man. Thank you. I'm probably gonna get full though, quick because I have been dibbling, dabbling. <laughs> I love a devil egg. Right. Don't you eat too many of them eggs. I be. Too Make me suffer tonight. <laughs> I don't want to suffer. You be kick you out by accident. I, Accidentally on purpose. Kick I you. ain't feeling uh, like you These look. eggs ain't pretty, but I know for a fact they're good. And that's really all that matters. That's all. <laughs> that material. You hear me? <laughs> all that material. Y'all, ain't they probably a good way to peel an egg? Baby, first egg. first time in my adulthood <laughs> that I um that I peeled all them eggs with no issues. First time as a grown person <laughs> that I did that without issue. I boiled them eggs and I um and they peeled so good because usually them eggs be tore to fucked up when you're making double eggs. Oh, well, let me shut up because I'm over here. Man. So let me, I gotta see what our bone is. Mm. I'm gonna just. Do you want them cut in pieces or? You can just cut it like this. That's fine. Like a three at a time. Mm -hmm. 
that bitch. I'm just gonna break it. I'm just gonna break it. Thank you. Yep. Y'all, it's my first time using that Condor's barbecue sauce. Mm. It is good. Mm. You know, some barbecue sauce be too strong, but. Mm -hmm. Man, how much Red vinegar? Tiny, tiny. <laughs> how much vinegar you put in? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I always make Bush's baked beans. <laughs> and if you, um. If you've been around on this channel a while, you know that I always put uh, ground beef in our baked beans. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> I usually doctor them up to my liking. And uh, I was going to use two cans of beans tonight, which I just knew we had in the cabinet at home. Because you know how like you be in your cabinets and you see stuff? Like I had seen two cans of beans. I was like, I know for sure we got beans down here. And so, you know, I'm cooking everything. Get ready to cook the beans. I opened up a can of beans first one then I go grab the other one the other one the label wasn't on it which I figured it must have got like wet at some point or something and I tore it off before I put the can I opened up the second can of beans just to discover twist not beans <laughs> twist cream, cream of mushroom hey, I opened up a whole mega can of uh, cream of mushroom that is gonna go to waste cause I don't know how to store it I said, this is not beans. <laughs> so, I had already browned my beef up. <laughs> I said, these beans about to be extra meaty, mm -hmm. boy. Y'all, we went in Walmart to get this stuff, honey. Them folks in that store were getting on my nerves. And I don't know if it was because my pre-workout hadn't uh, wore off all the way or if people were just being crazy. But they were just standing in the way. Just, it was too much. <laughs> Them fools at Walmart, how you, how you about ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh my God. We don't care. This, and then, <laughs> it was more, I don't know. Maybe I just was like, I had to, I had to, I don't know. Maybe I just had the peace of God today. And the mm -hmm. devil wasn't going to disturb me. Because it was more than, yeah. I had a lot of, I had a lot of reason to be frustrated, but. I was I was, doing well. I was doing good in the store. We was almost done. And I was I had Danielle was about she was about over it from the start. Mm -hmm. I had I usually get frustrated, but I was good. And I wasn't even trying to be. I was just, I guess, like I said, the peace of the Lord Almighty. Mm -mm. Anyway, we was almost out of the store. And this older lady was walking past Danielle and then she swiveled around. Now I'm right beside Daniel, but kind of like behind her because Daniel has a car. Mm -hmm. And she swiveled around right beside Daniel. and Daniel was like, she just kept moving. And I was behind her. Then this lady, like, this, she like speeds up as if to try to push her car, like to push me out the way to be behind Daniel to get around. And I look like, lady, have you lost your mind? Like, I was like, I'm, I said, listen, I cuss a grandma out. Because these, you ain't beyond it. no, not in 2022. <laughs> Because people in general just act crazy and this is. Mm -hmm. I know, it's just I can get out of here. <laughs> I was almost out. The worst of me is showing. <laughs> you fuck with getting on my nerves. But all in the way, man. Acting like they don't know what they want to get. Like, you standing in front of mustard. You know what mustard you want. Like, what, what are you doing? I always say it, because I go to different grocery stores now. We we shop at different grocery stores, really based off of need. We prefer to shop at Walmart because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. But if they don't have what we want, or they don't have good quality, whatever, we'll go to Publix or, you know, Blue Line or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But I always tell myself, I, no matter how much money I made, that I would always... Bargain shop, you know, especially for groceries and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Listen. Fuck it. If it I ever fun. become wealthy, when I become wealthy. Get a speech. When I. <laughs> if somebody ain't shopping for me, baby, I would not go. I'm not going to Walmart. Mm -mm. I ain't doing it. If, so, if somebody going to have to shop for me, if that's the case, because I ain't doing it. 
Walmart done stressed me out too many years of my life. Yeah. Um, when I worked there, <laughs> which I think that's half the reason why I hate Walmart today, is because I used to work there. Probably. And so, I'm going to get some of this ribs, but I'm over here buzzing. Huh? And I just ate a pizza. It was delicious. Look at that, y'all. Whoa! Mm -mm. That's bark. Not bark. Y'all, my hands ashy. Sorry. At least you know they clean. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -mm. <laughs> Fuck chili. Oh, oh, shit. No. Hey. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Out of all the franchises that I've tried, Chili's. Come on. I'm I'm gonna get Chili's the top. They yeah. ribs. Now don't get it takeout. Wait a damn minute. But, but <laughs> me and Dan was talking right before we filmed. I said, how come people can do good ribs at home, but some of these restaurants be acting like they can't get them right. Mm -hmm. Especially like some barbecue restaurants, ribs be tough as nails. I'll be like, what's going on? I'm like, they must be trying to hurry up and get them out or something. Mm. I don't get Because these was not grilled. I sh I'm going to show you. I'm sh I showed y'all at the beginning of the video what I did to them because people be asking every time I put out a rib video and I hadn't did one in a while. So I said, this time I'm definitely going to show y'all exactly what I do because it's nothing special really. It's just the time. You've got to take the time. But, I mean, the flavor that's in here tastes like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it tastes like, it don't just taste like, you know, just sauce on ribs. Mm -hmm. They're flavored. And this in the oven, bruh. I can't stand a tough rib. Yeah, I got a little topic, but right now, I eat. <laughs> if there was an item I had to think of like during Thanksgiving and Christmas that I abused, it's probably a devil egg. <laughs> I'm not as bad as I used to be. Really? Mm -mm. Oh, I know I'm still bad. When I was a kid, mm -hmm. if it was enough, how about make my sick eat? Myself sick and devil <laughs> egg. For real. <laughs> And the good thing is, my um, our cousin, our cousin made double eggs, and then my aunt used to make some too. So mm -hmm. it was enough. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so blessing. Nowadays, I can still eat them, but I can just kind of walk away. Mm -hmm. I used to be about obsessed with them. It's like, because that's not something that, for some reason, just didn't have to out the year. Right. Nobody made them. And they know you were hard to make. I feel like that's the only time they was really made, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, are made. All right. Let me read this little topic. All right. So... The topic is, I found someone else's hair in my boyfriend's underwear while doing laundry. What should I do? Girl. All right. <laughs> my boyfriend and I lived together. One night, he was late getting home from work. Said he had a meeting with cabinet person with a cabinet person at Lowe's. <laughs> Shut up, AJ. A couple of days later, I was doing laundry. <laughs> and there was a bright red pubic hair in his underwear. <laughs> neither, of us, neither of us have red hair. <laughs> I confront him about it and he denied having been with anyone. Said maybe dog hair or maybe housekeeper's hair since he throws his clothes on the floor. Should I kick him out? My thing is that you got to be suspect if you like, should I kick him out? Because... Wouldn't you ask, what should I do? <laughs> should I pursue? Should I kick him out? Right, like if you want to, if you some precursor. 
which I'm I'm not gonna say this because I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna say it, but I'm not gonna really just put this like because I know some women, you know, like the one beside me. Uh, but most of the time, mm -hmm. if you on kicking out, like if you like, should I kick him out? He's either y'all are fresh, y'all haven't been in a relationship long, mm -hmm. or this ain't his first offense. So you probably already know. You know what I'm saying? I'm now, this now Danielle is is probably the the one time person. Like you know, she's more of a one time. Baby, do some stupid shit and done. But <laughs> get your shit, get your shit, and get out. <laughs> I ain't got time for it. But uh, well, you know. I kind of read here. It's just whether do you trust him or not. Like, if you know, obviously, what it sound like. I don't think too many people going to disagree that it don't sound good. <laughs> but, I mean, do you like trust him? Like, he been being sketchy. Do you trust him? Or do you know? Come on, new ice pack. <laughs> All right, this, this, a, this is a new spark nice, but it's like, beep. I ain't been put up with Maybe one of us got red hair. Both of us is the black. Um, you know I dye my hair, but dang, boy, you was gonna get some, gonna get some brain, boy. You could at least took the drawers off. <laughs> you gonna be sneaking about it? Could, boy. What's worse is that when she said something about him meeting a cabinet guy at Lowe's. So I'm just like, I feel like that's already suspect because she said she did laundry days later. So, I feel like you trying to connect to that, like, right. he don't normally meet people out in them. That lows mm -hmm. for some pipe work. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Man, I feel like, um, homegirl. I can't eat another bite of this food. Oop. If not, if I want some just banana pudding, I can't oh, eat much yeah. of it. I knew you this was going to fill me up. Bit. Playing around. I ate them extra eggs that... That I kind of like whenever I was cutting them, I messed up. <laughs> I ate them little egg whites. I about the pudding. No, we don't never have dessert. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My young girl, if you think he's cheating, he's cheating. <laughs> Beyonce said, Uh-uh. Nine times out of ten, I know you're lying. Ain't that what she said? And ten, ten times, times out, out of nine, nine, I know you're trying. <laughs> Is it trying? Mm -hmm. She said, no, 10 times out of ten times out of nine, she right, pretty Ooh. much. I don't know what the next lyrics mm -hmm. was, but 10 times out of nine, she ain't no food. That's what she said. Well, you had some pubic hair. <laughs> Why'd you have to say poop, pubic hair? How you know? It might it be. It said pubic hair? Yeah, I think that's what it said. I'm like, girl, it might be underarm. <laughs> well, I thought Why it was just, I it? thought it was just regular hair. Hold on. So I figured he was getting hit. He got some head Stop, in the backseat okay. of a Hummer. Yeah. <coughs> and Luda uh, make it rain. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about a look. Bright red pubic hair. Mm. Girl, how you know? Because I don't mean to get too graphic. Well, you know. Underarm white hair. People, white people uh, hair. That is true. White people hair on their head. Which I'm just assuming she white. I would think. White people hair on their head is like fine. Mm -hmm. And most white people's pubic hair is probably coarser, so she was like, right. "It's a pube. It could be a mustache Try hair. He Ooh, might, oh be, yeah, he might be a little." Okay. He might have. Let's a, try the banana pudding. He might have a, <laughs> he might have a boyfriend. Hey. Hey. I'm not saying it's impossible. People be out here trying to, you know, they be they trying sure to do. have everything, have everybody and everything. So. Point is, hair ain't yours, hair ain't his. Whose hair is it? And the conclusions that you drawing by the story you done gave is. <coughs> and then it's. This ain't the first time he done did something sus. Then it's in his drawers. That's the harder part. Because if it was right. on his shirt or something, you could be like, I don't know. Hair fly around all the time, man. Alright, right, y'all. We're going to eat a little bit of this nanner pudding. Mm hmm. Then we're going to let y'all enjoy y'all Sunday. Thank you, uh, thank you, Ma. Oops. Thank you, Ma, yeah. for the recipe. I appreciate it, y'all. This is, um, <clears throat> I ain't hanging 
got that spoon. Yeah, dip it out with that. One. Yeah, we gotta just. It's deep though. Uh, I go get one. I'm gonna get something like a. Uh, get a little spatula. It's that little black one. Hi y'all. Banana pudding. This huh? Mary's banana pudding. <laughs> Y'all, it ain't had time to set up, mm -hmm. really. It was tighter. So I can't really show you like that. Mm -mm. I should have got a spoon. <laughs> should have got a spoon, but whatever. Thank you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I ain't had time to set up in the refrigerator, but yeah, put it right back in there. Y'all know how banana pudding is. It'll set up eventually, but cookies. It's right. Mm -hmm. She gave the right recipe. Mm -hmm. It tastes like hers. Mm. It's so crazy. How you can add stuff like sour cream. Yeah. Cream cheese and stuff, and you just you would never know it. Mm -mm. Sour cream go on a damn taco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real, no, real quick story time, real quick. <laughs> uh -uh. So, Danielle's mom makes this um, <laughs> strawberry pudding. It's really good, man. That's like. <laughs> Probably the first dessert I had at her mom's whenever uh, we first got together with her. <clears throat> it's really good. Anyway, so she always makes it usually whenever that's like her go-to dessert if it ain't, you know, a cake or something like that. So it was like one <laughs> Thanksgiving or Christmas. I cannot remember. Thanksgiving or Christmas. They were down, they were down here at our last apartment. And her mom came in. She said, I'm going to make this. I don't even know. It might not even been the holiday yet. She might have just been making it just because they were going to be here oh, the we weekend. Wanted, yeah. And we wanted to. So, she, um, so she, anyway, she she goes and she buys the ingredients. Now, it has some of the same things that go in here. You know, she uses sour cream and, you know, uh, <clears throat> other ingredients. You know, strawberries, uh, uh, box of gelatin and other stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... <laughs> She finishes making it. She, I mean, she wipes off the counter, everything. Uh, <laughs> Island looking spotless. Uh, I walk in there, you know, get something to drink or something. And she looks at the counter and she look. She said, "Oh my God, AJ, is that your sour cream? It's a whole tub, a sixteen ounce container of sour cream." Uh, I said, <laughs> "No, ma'am." Why would it be right. nice? <laughs> and it's out. <laughs> no. She said, oh my God. She she left the sour cream out, yeah. And I think she uses most of what's in there. Because she debating on it. I'm like, I'm sure. She was looking like. I'm like, I'm sure it's fine. Just, we gonna roll with it. I, it's gonna be delicious anyway. It's got the cookies. It's got, it's got so many mm -hmm. delicious things in there. The sour cream just enhances <laughs> what's already there. And in her mind, it ain't right. This woman took that out. <laughs> now, granted, this thing is in layers, y'all. It's even more layered than this because you know banana pudding can probably get. If you come in together. <laughs> really, essentially, you know, banana pudding is just together. So mm -hmm. if you make it like this, because I know some people make it like different, like the cook version or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, she took that pudding out of the refrigerator and uncovered it. <laughs> And did open that sour cream set and went to mixing everything <laughs> I was like, it really didn't need to happen. And I told AJ, if don't ever ask me why I do some of the things <clears throat> I do when I'm in there making stuff, because that is why. Because I have seen her. I said that. I said, Miss. Honey, homegirl is chef. <laughs> I said, Miss Joan, it really didn't. It really, I'm pretty sure it would have been good. She said, I don't know. And so, like, then she gonna keep asking us after, is it okay? Yeah, because you know what you did. And to be all honest, it was okay, but I could taste. <laughs> Don't tell her. Sour cream. Is she gonna go off? But she knew that. Yeah. She probably tasted it too. Yeah, that's why she probably did that. <clears throat> I could taste 
Strawberry pudding. Like the whole, because she doesn't, I don't think she uses strawberry pudding mix. She, no, she, she so. uses um, the gelatin and then she uses vanilla yeah. pudding mix. So, like, is I can taste the actual, like, <laughs> strawberry pudding part and I can taste <laughs> the sour cream. Sour cream. <laughs> but it was still, it was still yeah, good, but I was just like, Girl, <laughs> you got to know Joan G for yourself. That is when but, he came and told me. I said, "Yep, that sound like mama. That <laughs> sound like mama. That is a mama thing to do." <laughs> but I think anybody that's like made anything, if you cook or you bake or whatever, stuff like that happens. Mm -hmm. I've done it several times, and I turn around and be like. Or I go, I might be getting ready to eat. I'm like, oh my God, I ain't put the so and so in. <laughs> no you see it all the time on like Food Network. Mm -hmm. Them baking shows. Yes. <laughs> they be like, oh, Jesus. I it, forgot to, I gotta throw this out. I forgot to. Well, or they just go with it and put it something in the oven. It's a lot on that kid's baking. Y'all, AJ do not like watching some children bake, okay? No. It make him nervous. He also don't like Master, not, yeah, Master Chef Junior. He don't like that. Uh, Chop Jr. You know, like, <laughs> he does not like none of them kids. Cookies. Hell, kids and young said, guns. Oh yes, it get him anxiety. Because the kids be, they they'll dump something out in a minute. Like they're so <laughs> impulsive. Like boom. <laughs> like <laughs> oh lord, go. then they be they be worked up. They froze. They can't work. They be once something goes wrong, it's over. They they be meltdowns. I'm like, why they put these? <laughs> Nothing's worse than that little girl when that thing started falling and she gonna cry. <laughs> Her little, she had made like this little, I think it was, it was sweet tarts or nerds. This little nerd like bridge, it was going over something and she had finished it. She had like two minutes and that bit started <laughs> falling and she just started crying. Five, four, three, two, one, hands up. But the reason is like I don't like to watch it for real is because the adults don't make it. These adults be having breakdowns. <laughs> that stuff be high pressure situation, Ooh, and Lord. something go wrong at the last minute. A lot of these kids though, some of these kids be they like, do well. they troopers like they be like, I got this. Right. But some of them kids it be too much, and then the ones, some even the strongest ones, if they've been in the competition a minute. Competition is competition. It gets to them, but they be they be stressed crying. out, and I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, "Here we go!" Right? They be crying. But yeah, y'all, I am stuck. Mm -hmm. Really, I'm done. So, uh, thank y'all for joining this video today. <sighs> we really do appreciate it, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop a comment down below, and share this video out with everybody. Share this cancel care about us. Care about us, y'all. We love y'all. We appreciate you. We do. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Y'all have a good week. Yes, have a Stay great week. Stay prayed up. Yes. <laughs>